Now we're going to look at question 6b2. Earlier we found that the volume of water in jar x was 9 pi d squared. Alright? Part 2 says if all the water in jar x is now poured into jar y, calculate the height it will reach. Alright. Now, the volume of water that is in jar x. The volume of water in jar x, V, is equal to 9 pi d squared. Alright? Now, we're dealing with jar y. The volume will remain the same. But the diameter and therefore the radius actually drop. So, what's the radius of jar y? It is d over 2, half of the diameter. Alright? Now, the formula for the amount of water in the cylinder is pi r squared times the height. When I transpose this to make h the subject, h if I divide both sides by pi r squared this over pi r squared r squared cancel r squared pi cancel pi and I have h alone on one side I must divide this by pi r squared as well so the height is pi r squared so um, no the height of water I mean is V over pi r squared that applies to any cylinder let me draw a line here to separate the work now this is the height for any cylinder the height for jar y will be the volume V and V remains 9 pi d squared over pi times r squared what r now changes the radius of jar y is d over 2 so it's d over 2 r squared alright that's the pi r squared the erase button keeps activating here alright now let's work this out the height is 9 pi d squared over pi times d squared at the top over 2 squared at the bottom 2 2 is 4 we can just cancel pi with pi from now so the height is 9 d squared over d squared over 4 now you know when you have a number times a fraction you multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction D divided by a fraction a number divided by a fraction you multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction what we have here is the number 9 d squared over the fraction d squared over 4 now we're running out of space here so let's use over the left hand side here so what we have is 9 d squared multiplied by 4 over d squared d squared cancel d squared so what we have is 9 by 4 9 times 4 equal 36 so it would be 36 alright 36 so it would be 36 centimeters now let's also look at this here The width of the water in Y is one third that in jar X. Alright? So jar jar Y's radius is one third jar X's radius. So one third of this 
this is one third of this when you square r r will be squared when you square one third when you have one third r squared you get one ninth now what this mean first of all it's just another way to work it out the fact is the narrower the tube the higher the water but how much higher it will be the square of the radius now in this case since the radius will be one third the height will be one third square or the reciprocal of one third square reciprocal because the narrower the tube the higher the level of water as the tube width go down the level of level of water goes up so it's going to be 3 squared which is 9 times so you could have considered in the first place that if you have 4 centimeters here then over here it will be 4 nines 36 centimeters so that's one way you could also argue this question all right so you could do it like this or you could argue the fact that with one third the radius one third squared is one ninth because r will be squared and the reciprocal of one ninth the narrower the tube the higher the water so the water will be nine times higher in other words 36 centimeters high <laughs>